Okay, so we're now going to look at anonymous functions and uh, what it means to be an anonymous function in PHP. Now, an anon anonymous function is essentially a, a function without a name, so it hasn't been given a specific name. We've already seen that we can do something like function name and then define a block and we can return something inside of here. Um, but with an anonymous function, uh, it's perfectly valid to say function return something remembering that we need a semicolon um, uh, instead on the end of this. Um, so what happens now is this is perfectly valid syntax. It doesn't make too much sense in this case because we have no way to call this function now. What we can do, however, is we can assign the function a name through a variable. So I'm just going to say 5. So now what I can do is I can actually call this variable as if it's a function because technically it is a function but we've just said that uh, we're putting a function within this we're not actually giving the function a name so now when I go ahead and refresh um, we also oh, haven't echoed anything out we will see if we echo 5 like this we get the value 5 and we can do exactly the same thing um, with things like returning parameters or we can do anything with parameters that we want um, so we'll just keep that as 5, we'll just say 50 in there for example we can do everything that we would normally do with a function as an anonymous function but there are uh, benefits to anonymous functions and that's when we start looking at callbacks and having closures um, a, an anonymous function is actually a closure um, it just doesn't have a name and that's it. So um, yeah, like I said, callbacks is, is a good thing uh, to do in, in, in the case of PHP 5 and onwards. But let's take a look, quick look now at uh, a bit more of this so we can sort of pass these things around. So what we could do is we could in fact say another equals 5. Now what we've effectively done now is allowed us to call or reference uh, the same function with another variable. So now this works in exactly the same way when we refresh. With a normal variable, uh, normal uh, function, we wouldn't be able to do this. So if you need to reuse functionality um, but store it in different uh, with different variable names, then uh, that's a use for closure. 